If we just quickly recap what we've done so far in the recent videos. So now we've added the ability to log in using identity. We've customized our user model. We've added roles and we've added the ability to add and edit roles and also add or remove users within a specific role. So now we can start limiting access to our site by adding role-based authorization to some of our controllers or actions. So we can start by going to the controllers folder and the one controller we know that should be admin only is the admin controller. So we can just add a authorize up here and then we can put roles and add the roles we want to be able to access this controller. I'm going to put admin in here. So now we can go ahead and give this a try. Just run our program and we try to access the roles here and we can see that we get prompt to log in. And now that I'm logged in, I'm able to access these because I am in the admin role, like you see here. And if I create another user, let me just fill this in quick. Now it is, you see that I'm logged in, but if I try to access this, it will say access denied. You don't have access to this resource. So I can then log out and go back to the admin account. And now I can give myself privileges as admin. Update. Now you see that both admin and Robin is in the admin role. And if I log back into this one, now I also have the full privileges on this one. So now we can go ahead and give this a try on some of the other controllers. So for example, this book controller here, Maybe we want people to be able to see the list of books, but not edit or delete anything, or perhaps create as well. So then we could put an authorize attribute here with roles of admin. And if we still want people to be able to see this one, we can add allow anonymous. So if we save this one, run the program again. And if you go to the book list, you can see here, you can see all the books. But if I try to add a book, I get prompted to log in. And the same goes to edit, display the details and delete the book. So next we could go to the card controller. and Maybe we want only people that are logged in to be able to add stuff to their cart. So then we can authorize roles. Or we can just add authorize, because that means that they have to be logged in. And we can do the same for the order controller. Authorize. And the store controller, we can just leave as is, or you can actually specify it as allow anonymous to have it specifically stated here. So if you try to run this now, and if I stay logged out, you can see that I'm able to view the books, I can check them out, but if I try to add them to the cart, I will be able to be prompted to log in. So we can just log in. And now you see that it was added to the cart and I have full admin rights over all of these right now, but I'm still able to add stuff to my cart. I can also go to the checkout, complete order and an order is made. 
So maybe that's enough for now on the controllers. And if we go down here to the views and to the shared views, to the layout, we remember that we added the roles button here or the menu item here. And since we only want to be able to access this one if we are an admin, then we can actually add a if statement here. And what we want to check for then is user dot is in role of admin. Curly braces and just put this up in here. And if you save that one, you can run it again. And now you see that I'm logged out. And now I'm not even able to see the roles menu item here. So I have to actually log in. To be able to see it and i'm able to see it now because i have the admin role so if i go here for example and i remove myself from this one and i log out again log into at site.com you see now that i'm logged in but i'm not in the admin role so i'm not able to see this roles menu item here so that way you can hide menu items or nav links to users that are not able to access them anyway because they're not in the role. So they will be completely hidden from them. And if you're not an admin, then this won't be shown to you. That's all I have for this video. So just play around with uh, these new roles of yours and try to hide or access things on your site, depending on how you want to do. And I'll see you in a later video.